Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Reactions, jubilation, as UAE lift visa ban on Nigeria after Tinubu's intervention. Where you don't know, say, say, say Nigerians, not go Dubai, yo. They not go Dubai again, they not do a lot of things, say, because Nigerians don't swear reputation for some of these areas. So the UAE, United Arab Emirates, do ban. If you get Nigerian uh, passports, you may not be able to apply to go to Dubai and some of these places. But for instance, say you be Nigerian, you get Canadian, British, American passport, you fifty go. But say na Nigerian passport you get, lie lie, you did not the happen since. So people now they do business, so they buy things from Dubai, they do all things. But because of you know the level of where things don't be. No opportunity get to free travel, go to bad, at least go buy gold and the rest. It all costs a lot of uh, wahala. <laughs> right now, as we see, so Tinubu do the Tinubu do app really, uh, you know, lift up that ban. A lot of people now they happy. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Nigerians have taken to social media to the streets to react to the United Arab Emirates UAE lift lift the visa ban placed on Nigeria travelers after almost one year. Late Nigeria reported that this follows a hist historic agreement between President Bola Metinubo and the President of the United Arab Emirates, Mohammed bin Zadin, on Monday. According to a statement by the Special Advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, Ajaini, he stated that as negotiated between the two heads of state, this immediate restoration of flight activities through these two airlines and between the two countries does not involve any immediate payment by Nigerian government. Recogni recognition of President Bola Metinubu's economic development, diplomacy driven and and the prospects presented to his counterpart has also weighed in. Reacting, many Nigerians applauded Tinubu for the huge landmark, while others expressed reservations about it. Some says we don't know what plans this guy has gone to put in place and what he has negotiated. Citizens have probably been offshored. In exchange, you don't know what he has done. Stop clapping. It's too early. Wait and hear what has been put in place before you go on to celebrate. The celebrate might be ill. The celebration might be ill, and you might it might be stopped at the middle of the way. President Tinubu is mm -hmm. gradually turning out to be working for the people. Although there are still many things yet undone, Aisha Yusuf also wrote that he's still not my president. I will not visit Dubai throughout his eight years in office, even if he, even if the airline starts working, he's still not my president. Some Nigerians have celebrated, others have said, let's not be too hasty to start the celebration because anything can happen. It's still very early in the day so that we don't get our hope, our hope dashed, you know, or quench all of a sudden. So there's a lot involved. Yes, my people, a lot of matter they grand right now as we they speak because as we they see the matter, so they say we say Tinubu, you know, uh, Tinubu don't go talk to the UAE, don't talk with them, don't talk plenty. Say we say they go forgive Nigerians, so say you're not going to feel picking with the water, say because they became bad, you go get to you will get to consider. So those considerations, all those things that all day in place, the UAE don't look at it, don't think as okay, we don't know what Tinubu negotiate to, we don't know the terms and conditions we say he puts in place, so we don't know. No, because we know they do, we don't know. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we will just say we we'll say where well, we go we go consider Nigeria for the time being. So now those kind of things now they don't talk. Plenty of things now they don't talk. Nigerians now some they happy, some they say don't don't rejoice, relax, relax, don't jump too much. So that uh, you know goes they not just say I not tell you you don't too, you too hasty. So now there we deal with the wait patiently. Where why those who say they do business from Dubai door door open. All men can move now. If you are doing business and your business have been hindered as a result of the visa ban, well, you are in luck. You are in luck. Tinubu, the president, has gone to negotiate. We don't know what the terms of negotiations are. However, he has done it and uh, the UAE has lifted the ban. And uh, right now, uh, matters flow meant, uh, flowing of uh, goods and goods, people and services can begin. 
So these are some of the things that have gone on and every single person is waiting patiently to see how other things will follow suit. Nigerians now so with the CMO, they say we say Tinobu, we don't set a, we don't set a, a set a stone. Say we say Nigerians may they feel travel now. So there's a lot involved. There's a lot involved, and everybody now they wait to see what it Tinobu dot a negotiate down. What he put down, what he what he use as collateral for the negotiation, we never know. But we are hopeful that he did it and he just spoke and the, you know the discussion just go the way it should go without any hindrance. Where? We hope so. We sincerely hope so, and we hope that at the end of the day, Nigerians no go no go regret. We did Tinubu do do so. And we know our sister and Aisha you so save the like oh. Me Tinubu do thing won't do it. If you like oh, we need to like make you do or say in our sign and say because she she put Tinubu not be a president. They will say oh, but Tinubu live by. They say no, they go Dubai. Say no, get where won't go do for Dubai. So we they watch the old thing, we they see how things they be, and now there we did so. We say maybe even we let you know, see we say things be like this, or say things they grand, or, you know, maybe for maybe for wise because uh, wisdom they say is profitable to direct. So we did there, uh, we they watch you, uh, we they see everything they be, we keep you, you know, um. We'll keep you up to speed, though. Uh -huh. We'll keep you up to speed so that at the end of the day, Nigeria can move forward and this nation can become the nation it ought to be in the corridors of power. Because we know if you just fold our one cross leg, say, we say, now so it be no, 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 no. We must do something now. Nah. You can't do that now. Nah. Say, now so it just be no. Not it like that now. Nah. You must work at it. You must make sure, say, we say, things change. Yes. So now that change, so now we the look. That change. So now all of us, the look, say, we say, may we see how things go turn. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, it is important, say, may we rise up. May we make sure, say, you know, the country, everybody, we say, everyone, we say, we need to do everything we need to put in place. You know, they come out and they, at the end of the day, you know, we are able to see and get the truth. And we're able to change this nation and make it a better place for every single person. At least the visa ban is a good thing. Those who are who are involved in the business of you going to Dubai and the rest, they will be able to, you know, do their business. They'll be able to do what they need to do, you know, and be able to see things as it needs to be. You see, and so that uh, at least that one will save a lot of problem. We'll solve a lot of problem right now. You see, so Tinobu, kudos to you. You do one, you do one thing where. Okay, we person do where women where talk and no job they cost you all the time. You do one thing where at least you don't go to solve the visa ban. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us is bye for now. Bye bye.